What we got? Weighs 79 pounds. 79! Before we start, I've got to give you guys some backstory here. A few months ago, Sam asked online for some help designing merch. We still don't have merch. But she did meet an incredible artist from Hilo side who said he was making us something really special. That same artist was working with Max and Nainoa on a Big Island Roy tournament, so I decided to have everyone out on the boat for a day hunting the reef. Like this video, I promise it's gonna be a good one. What is up guys, welcome back to another episode of Ryan Myers Expeditions. Today we got something really, really freaking cool for you guys. We're gonna try and sink this boat in Roy, although I say that and I'm, I'm regretting it already because I... <laughs> <laughs> That's right. We don't need Roy to sink this boat, Sam says. What's going on with the Roy tournament, Max? We're just trying to shoot as many Roy as we can for the whole month of April. It's for the Big Island this time. It's a virtual tournament that we're doing. You guys got some serious prizes. You got all got kind of cool serious stuff. Serious prizes, yeah. Evolve diving. Got some uh, nine foot carbon fiber pole spears with all the tips. We got adventure wetsuits. Sick. Cards. And Max has a channel too. We'll put that link down below. You making a video today as well? Yeah, balance Sick. Life. Shane Molina with the art oh, of yes, art. Sir. We got something really special. We're gonna see later, huh? Oh yeah, I'm gonna surprise you guys. <laughs> oh, no, Ryan. Ryan, you're gonna be so stoked though. I've been no, hearing sorry. about this project that Shane has been working on for I, I, months, months, and every time Sam gets an update, she freaks out. <laughs> Nainoa, you killing some Roy? We're gonna kill some Roy, man. That was gonna cruise, but never mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, we will see you in the water. So with this video, I got the really, really cool opportunity to kind of get a hold of all of my dive buddies' dives in their footage and get a chance to break it down for you guys. And while watching this stuff, I noticed just several errors that are just kind of beginner or intermediate problems <laughs> that maybe I don't get a chance to always show you in my own footage, but are probably problems that most of you guys do constantly. And I thought this was a really, really good chance to be able to show you and maybe we can all learn from this. One of those first really, really big problems I'm noticing is you guys are chasing after fish that already know you're a predator. Now, this is wrong for so many reasons. That fish, when you shoot it, for most of the time, should never be aware of you. It's kind of like you're walking in the woods for a deer and you see a deer and you chase after it and you take a shot at it, it's not gonna work out. For the most part, you're hiding down there in the reef or you're approaching fish that haven't necessarily decided whether you're a predator or whether you're not a threat. And that's just a mentality that you guys gotta have out here while hunting and I saw it over and over and over. And it's one of those skills that saves you a lot of time. When I see a fish, I know right away, I'm like, I have a chance at this fish. Or I see a fish and I know that giant Roy already spotted me. That Uku already spotted me, that Moo already spotted me. It knows it's afraid of me. I can tell by its body language. You guys can all tell by this fish's body language immediately that it's afraid of you, yet you continue the hunt. And what you did is you lost out on the opportunity and other fish on that same dive. You could have gone simply to the bottom, waited, maybe you spooked away a fish, maybe that fish ended up coming back. Maybe another fish presented itself on that dive. So it's just one of those skills that I saw again over and over and over here. You guys were chasing after fish or you guys kept pursuing a fish that knew you were there and knew you were a threat. Sabagram, we got some Roy's over here. Another thing that I saw these guys doing over and over and over in these clips is hunting from above. And what that does is that causes you to shoot and take a really low percentage shot. Now, when you're coming down on a fish, the profile of it looking back up at you is extremely small, especially on these smaller fish. Now, if you're doing this on a big 50 pound grouper or something, you've got a three, four, five inch window side to side between his head that you can shoot at. But when you're shooting a one pound Roy, the amount of space that you have that is not a tearing off shot is so small that you're setting yourself up for failure immediately before you even pull the trigger. Because you're hunting from above and you're doing that dive bomb, you also have no way to stabilize yourself. So you're constantly moving through the water, you're negative in the water, so you're sinking down or you're sinking towards that fish, and you're moving, sometimes that fish is moving, and when you take these shots, it should be no surprise when you miss. The last thing I saw these guys doing that's actually a huge pet peeve of mine is shooting two banded guns with only one band loaded. These guns are designed specifically to shoot two bands, and they shoot completely differently with only one. I get it, you don't wanna shoot two bands super hard into the rocks, but there's other ways to go around that. When you shoot like this, you end up with one band flopping around, causing extra drag at the end of your gun, getting in the way of your line of sight. There's just no way that you can shoot consistently like this. 
Besides that, what happens if you bump into a monster? What would have happened to me later in the day on the same day if I only had one band loaded when I bumped into that giant? The bottom line is you just never have a clue what you're going to encounter in the ocean and you always have to be ready. Right here, and I know it takes a long shot on this Ta'au, and maybe he would have connected just a little bit better if he had both those bands loaded. So many of those problems I just talked about can be solved by one simple thing, and that is simply going down to the bottom and planting that left hand, stabilizing yourself, taking a moment to relax, and look around and decide what you want to target and then going after that specific target. You'll get a much higher percentage shot, you'll be much more relaxed on the bottom, and I guarantee you guys will land more fish. After fully tearing apart these guys' dives, I've got to say that they were all three an absolute pleasure to dive with. I had a blast hunting Roy with them, and I had even more fun going back through their footage and kind of seeing what works for them and what doesn't. And guys, it gave me the idea to offer that to all of you guys, all my subscribers out there from all over the world. I'm going to set up a Dropbox account that anybody can submit their footage to, their underwater films, and I will take it and critique it and kind of share it with the world and see what works in different places in the world and kind of tell you guys what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong. So guys, if you have any interest in submitting that and being here on my channel, I'll put that link down below and you guys are welcome to upload your clips. So somewhere along the way, Max bent the shaft on one of his guns, so I gave him my little 95 centimeter pathos roller to kind of play with, and I've got to say, I think he was just as stoked on it as I am. This thing ate a lot of reef fish in its life. That was sick! Yeah. Thanks, man. That gun is so smooth. After busting up the local invasive population, I convinced Max to head out into deep water with me for a few drops. Honestly, I wasn't expecting much except bigger, dumber Roy, and I was stunned to see this massive whale shark cruising along the drop off. I've seen a lot of things in the ocean, but what happened next shocked even me. I didn't know how these pathos guns would stack up against giant fish, but I've been pleasantly surprised over and over. This 110 sniper with standard bands had more than enough power for this monster. And if you guys are in the market for any new spearfishing gear, I've got you guys the discount code down below to these guns as well as those beautiful Setma fins. Guys, look at this freaking dinosaur of a fish. I, I'm speechless, guys. This has got to be my biggest allure yet. Freaking. Monster fish. Ugh. Well, it can't be that big if I can lift him. God. Weighs 79 pounds. 79. Right after we weighed that beast and put him on ice, we dropped off Sam and picked up my buddy Tyler and decided to race out to the farm for one more quick sunset session. As always, the farm was alive with fish. Tons of bait, tons of trigger fish everywhere, and tons of these little rat chibis zipping in and out. I drove the boat for the guys and they had a pretty tough time shooting them, but luckily we were able to get in the boat and catch a handful before the sun went down. Oh, 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 <laughs> Screamers you, at sunset. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Proud of Max with an ahi. I'm thinking you got an ahi, bro. Yeah. I missed it. Oh. No, you never did. No! Oh, we're tangled disaster. Bro, bro that you. didn't take long at all. Go. Yeah, bro. Yeah, he's running from white tip. He's running up. Dude, not too, not too violent. Not too violent. Nice and easy, bro. Holy shit. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah, those little 
Ahi. Watch, I'm gonna little more, little more jigs, little more jigs. Yeah, get that rhythm down. Get that rhythm. Get that rhythm. In and yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Oh my God! Not too violent. Not too violent. Not too violent. Not too Ryan, we should frame this in your house. Bro, I love that rock. Man, I got some armor I got trade Dude, for you. dude, I, I, that's a good deal. Guys, <laughs> that was a freaking blast. <laughs> We're going back. We gotta run. It is dark. We'll see you guys at the boat ramp. Guys, what an unbelievable day there. Ahi's at sunset. Giant Alua's has started off. Roy's throughout the day. Ridiculous. Shame. I hear you have something. Because my kids love you so much. They watch you every day. I was like, I gotta drop these guys. Guys. You have no idea. Ready? Let's we'll see if it's upside down. Man. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah you, you're doing good. Oh! 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 Bro. That's for you, I do you! Oh my <laughs> god! god. So you're screwed up! Bro, this is that's the nicest thing anybody has Yeah, look, it's ready. You just tackled up, bro. 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 That's for you, bro. <laughs> bro. This is the nicest thing anybody's, Dude, anybody's serious, ever bro? made, any, ever in my life. Guys, unbelievable day. I cannot even believe that that what what Shane has made here. I'm, I'm speechless, guys. I'm speechless. Guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Go look at Shane's art. I'll put the link down below. I... Again, I, I'm speechless about this entire yeah, thing. Right. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time right here on Ryan Myers Expedition.